Hey everyone, so today we woke up super early to go and meet We Do, a machine shop making hundreds of machines here in Bali. Plus, they said they really want to take me to see one of their projects in the north of Bali with one of the communities up there. So, let's go! Hi guys. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. All right. So here we are this morning with Putu, which is the head of Widu, here, and Valerie right there. Today we first gonna head out to see one of the projects that they run uh, in the north of Bali, and then we're gonna come back here and learn more about all the incredible things that I'm seeing here. I mean, honestly. I, I wanted to see the machines first, but okay, I can wait. What's filming? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, uh, my name is Putu. I start this uh, company 2017. Hello, I'm Valerine. I'm working here at WeDo, um, doing a bunch of things, uh, from designing a little bit and organizing things. Yeah, I'm excited for the road trip. In Singaraja, we'll visit a space where they gather plastics from a few villages around. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't resist. Putu is now gonna give us a little tour of the space. Welcome to Widu. Yeah, it's a messy place, but <laughs> it's a creative place. Uh, this is seat press machine, uh, mini shredder. <laughs> it's like, this is plastic, yeah? Yes, recycle. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. so um, we have what, the other shredder? Yeah. Yeah, same shredder. Okay. And then you have a nice CNC uh, here. CNC and... Oh God. Yeah, this is the seat. <coughs> oh, the biggest one is on the bottom. The biggest size we made, 120 centimeter diameter. This is extruder, finishing up. Making um, bricks and pillar like this, two by four inch with the length 20, uh, two meter. And this oh, one, yes, yeah, more seat press. They are ready to be shipped to clients? Yes, our plasma cutting machine for uh, to support our production. This press machine, baller, to a uh, compactor. This we are building another seat press. A lot of orders? A lot of orders for seat press. Huh. How many in 2022? It's like more than 20. It's like, yeah. 20 in this year? Yeah. Wow. Uh, That's a lot. lot. I mean, mm. I've already seen like five uh. years. Uh, this one is a press for after we extrude the plastic, we put it here, we press. Cool, thank you for now. Hey everyone, for those of you new to the channel, we are Precious Plastic and we design and develop open source recycling machines for the entire world to use. Just like Puto and we do in this video, we have thousands of organizations all around the world recycling plastic through Precious Plastic. So if this is your cup of tea, make sure to like and subscribe so that you can get notified for every new video coming out on a weekly basis. You want eco mode or sport mode? <laughs> <laughs> so Matia live in Uluwatu and he just drove by and we're in the central part of Bali right now and we're driving up, up, up north to the very, very tip of the island. You'll see a lot of nature and... Volcanoes, I heard. Tell me Puto, how, how, how did you start We do? Yeah, I'm a teacher from green school and he gave me the piece of paper and can you make me Puto? Can you make this one? <laughs> What is this? Yeah, cool. that's the start. So you made this machine for a green school? Green school. And then you First were like, one. oh, these are yeah, cool machines. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, yep. <laughs> <laughs> They're a lot of fun. People uh, want them. Yes, until now. And more and more. So you started making more and then yes. you just, and now you're... Now I expand to organic machine also. Because I was thinking like, plastic is only 10% like of the waste. And what I'm gonna do with the rest of the waste mm. still going to landfill, so I start making uh, organic. How many people work with you? Right now? Yeah. Uh, less than 10. 
you have a lot of uh, people from uh, abroad coming and working with you, right? Yeah, I have right now uh, from France, one mechanical engineer, and six people, six boys uh, from junior school. Part of my job is um, to map out our clients that we've built machines for in the past and what they've made with it. Coffee break? Yes, coffee break. All right, so we are kind of out the way to the north and we stopped for a little breakfast and look at this place. So cool. House for bees? Cool. Here's the Lake Buyan. Right. <laughs> Hello, Bo. Hello. Mountains, yeah. yeah. So this is my crusher, the motor. I use the truck engine, <laughs> and then the plastic shred and wash, and then going here. So we sort it again, so it makes it more. Pure. This is the place to shred. Half a uh, 500 kilos per hour. All right, so here we are. We arrived in the project up here in north. In the north, this is a classic collection sorting shredding uh, facilities. I've seen many around the world, but this one is special because the guy here is a young guy, well educated, well spoken which was originally inspired to start a recycling business by precious plastic. The guy knows inside out the website, he's seen all the videos, and he was sharing how, yeah, we were really the reason why he started this recycling business. And by now, you know, he's recycling 100 tons a month and employing 40 people in his local community, which is quite a phenomenal impact for a five or six years uh, business how you uh, teach people everything. I love it. I watched it before, yeah? Like years ago when I knew, the, when I found the uh, YouTube on Precious Plastic, I almost every day I watch it. So you would say Precious Plastic has helped you here in this business? Too. Oh yes, of course. Uh, first of all, I tell the person with your, video, with your videos that you can make money with your plastic. Mm. You know? Yeah. You can make something from it. You can make make it big. You can make product. You can make, make everything else. It's precious. It's precious, you know. It's not a gear bit. It's not a waste. But it's precious. Bye, precious plastic. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys. Ciao. Yeah. Ciao, ciao, ciao. And that's where I messed up the settings of the camera. I think by putting in and out the camera in the bag, I messed up some settings. And the rest of the day is being recorded at a, at a super low quality. I don't even know why a camera like this has those settings, to be fair. And I was considering to cut it out of the video. However, the content on the interview is really, really interesting for all of you micro recyclers out there. So I still kept it in there. So I would kindly invite you to put on your early 2000 hat and just uh, accept a lower quality for the rest of the video. All right, so here we are again in the car after our visit up north. And uh, yeah, another couple of hours back and we're gonna be sitting down with Putu here to learn more about the work that they do and uh, we do to push plastic recycling here in Bali. All right. Oh my God, it's been a long day, isn't it? Tired. Tired. A bit sleepy. Yeah, man, you've yeah. been driving a lot. So maybe can, can we start by introducing yourself and who you are and how and what you're doing here? Yeah, my name is Putu, uh, originally from Singaraja. Start, uh, we do since 2017. Yeah, and then 2017, I start making uh, this machine from precious plastic. I make a shredder, injection, extruder, yeah, oven compression also. Okay, so that's uh, 2017. 
you made the first set of machine and you're thinking, wow, that's a cool way of having an impact here, a positive impact here in, uh, in Bali. So since then, I mean, looking at the machines behind me, there's been a long progression, right? A long growth and great yeah. growth. Can you tell me a bit what happened since those first set of machines that you built? The first machine, everything is uh, completely from precious plastic, but I found it's a bit difficult because the material, maybe in there, you can find anything, but here it's a bit limited. The principle is same, uh, how it works and everything. Just maybe I modify a little bit. I modify the machine uh, because I get uh, the feedback also from the customer and how they use it. It's, it's a bit different locally here and this is the challenge for me, for my whole team and how to make more simple than precious plastic. Yeah. Now we're in 2022 and do you have a rough idea of how many machines you built? How many precious plastic machines you built? Ah, it's hundreds. hundreds, hundreds of machines. Who are your customers? Who do you sell these hundreds of machines to? Mostly community and government. Yeah. So can you just tell me how that works? The government buys a machine from you to send to some remote locality? How, how, how does that work? Every village must have their own local facilities. So not allowed to send to the landfill not loud so they must have and government support the, the funding and they look for the machine like that okay mm -hmm. so you provide them precious plastic machines for yeah. that is tourism industry also one of your uh, customer yes they are most uh, aware about uh, our island in bali here yeah? mm -hmm. then local so, so you work with the hotels and yeah, hotels as like Puerto Head, uh, Alila, and even in Lombok also, out of outside of Bali. And, and also villas you were talking about, or yeah, some villas. Mm. Okay. Well, is that private people that want to recycle the yeah. plastic? Yeah, uh, villas in Singaraja. They start uh, because they look uh, at Puerto Head and how do Puerto Head uh, recycle their waste and. They come there, they look, they ask. Do you also sell outside of uh, Bali and Indonesia? Yeah, now we are still making an uh, extruder for Mexico client to make uh, bricks. All right, so this very sweaty and long day is coming to an end. I really hope you learned something and you got inspired today. And if you're in Bali, you know where to drop by. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.